Hi Gemini, this is a general love reading for mid-July to the end of July 2021 for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs, either, either for you or for your person if you are cross-watching. It is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation, but you can definitely check out one of your other signs or you can book a personal reading with me. And do keep in mind that the rules can be reversed because it is a general reading. And yeah, I will mostly be focusing on your energy for this time around, okay? So let's see what is going on with Gemini for mid-July. We have release, okay. So somebody here, either you or your person, is ready to release something from their lives, okay? It could be a third party, it could be even this particular connection, it could be something related to work, it could just be about anything that might be serving as a barrier to your life or to, to their life. So let's get into it and actually see. I'm actually mostly seeing this as you being the one releasing something that you know is not in your highest good. But let's see. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, so for the recent past, oh, we have Justice, that's Libra energy. We have the Five of Wands and the two of pentacles. All right, so there was a decision here that you were trying to make, but I feel like it was met by um, a lot of outside forces that were just going against you, um, fighting you off, not in agreement with whatever decision it is that you were wanting to make. And this kind of threw you into this energy of really not knowing what to do, going back and forth. Yeah, I should do it. No, I shouldn't do it. Um, and I feel like that was just something very difficult for you to actually deal with. Let's see for the current situation. We have the Wheel of Fortune, the Page of Pentacles, and the World card. Okay, there it is, that release. This is definitely something shifting here for you. You're definitely feeling like something is different, something has shifted from within you, and I feel like you're ready to embark on something new when it comes to how you go about closing out a chapter in your life or how you go about resolving something. All right, some kind of a conclusion. So let's see what is coming up in the near future for you. The Four of Swords the Three of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles. Okay. So there's definitely some healing here that is coming up. There might be a little bit of, of waiting. I mean, it feels like you're just very, very determined at the moment, and that something is definitely, definitely closing out. But I feel like after that, you might feel like you just kind of either need a break or you feel like you need to rest in order to just kind of process the situation. So it might kind of feel like, not that it's not done, not necessarily that you're not releasing this situation, but more of giving yourself time to actually heal and release whatever you might still be holding on to when it comes to this particular situation that you are trying to release. So, and again, roles can definitely be reversed. This might actually be um, tapping into the energy of your person, okay? So let's clarify. Right, so let's clarify justice for the recent past. Ooh, okay, interesting. We have the Page of Swords, the Four of Cups, and the Ace of Cups.
Yeah, I feel like you were really investigating how you can go about making a decision for a situation that you just did not feel happy in anymore. A situation where you either felt ignored or whether you were just indifferent to it. It just felt kind of emotionless maybe. We do have the Ace of Cups, so it almost feels like this is a separate energy. So maybe there's another, um, another person here in your life that you feel this love for and then for some of you it could be that yeah you know what it, it it is the same person and yes there is love there but it's just not the kind of love that makes me happy it's not the kind of love that i would really want um so i feel like there was a decision that you were trying to make um concerning that and you actually you know we're we're f trying to focus on that but maybe just not going all out okay with the page of swords being here Okay, the Three of Pentacles and the Hierophant. All right, it's really coming through that for some of you, this is a third party situation or it's just a some kind of a commitment, like maybe even a marriage. Um, for others of you, this, this backlash that you received or this, um, what's the word? Like resistance that you were met with when you were trying to make this decision. For a lot of you, it may have also to do with... Um, societal expectations, cultural beliefs, you know, people not agreeing with you, like saying that's wrong, it's not ethical, or um, it's not traditional. And I feel like it's just that there was a lack of consent from other people here or another person because of that, either because of that or because there was something like a marriage possibly. Um, yeah, and that is why it, it was just something that was very difficult for you to um, handle. But it does appear that things are shifting. So let's see. Wheel of Fortune for the current energy. All right, the Nine of Swords, the Page of Pentacles showing up again, which is right next to this Wheel of Fortune, and the Two of Wands. Okay, so here's, here's what's going on here. I feel like there is this progression from this decision being more of a state of mind, like you were just thinking about it, you were researching it, trying to figure it out, you were possibly communicating to people about it, now the shift is that you are actually wanting to take that and make it more practical. Like you want to actually make it more real. However, because of that, it also is stressing you out a little bit because you're really sensing the reality of this release. Um, so that can be a little bit scary or um, just stressful because it might bring about some other changes that you might not be aware of or that you might think you're not, you don't know what kind of changes this might cause or you just might be blowing things out of proportion maybe. It's going to be different for everybody but it does come with some stress. All right, and for that reason I feel like, yeah, you know, something has shifted within you. You do want to make it more of a reality but you're still kind of holding back. There's still a part of you that is holding back from actually putting this plan into practice, but I do feel like you're coming up with a more practical plan as to how to go about it, and I do feel like you're not um, you're not researching it anymore. You're not asking for other people's opinions anymore, whereas I feel like you may have done that in the past. Let me clarify the Page of Pentacles. The Nine of Cups and the Hanged Man. It 
it feels like you're taking baby steps. You're, it's kind of like you're making a little step and then you're taking a break to kind of think about things, all right? Moving towards what it is that you truly want. You know that there is something here that would um, really be what it is that you are wanting at the moment. There's something that you are longing for, all right? You, you want to be comfortable. And I feel like because this shift is making you uncomfortable, that kind of that makes you move a little bit slower you are still moving towards this conclusion towards that release of whatever this is um, possibly this connect a particular connection in your life um, you are moving you are moving it's just that you're taking baby steps because you you want to also stay in a little bit of a comfort type of a zone um, let me clarify the world. And again, you know, if this is not your story, it's okay. You know, maybe one of your other signs actually resonates more for you, um, for my readings, all right? I find that for different readers, there's a particular sign that I have that always resonates for that particular reader. So, let's see. the world, we have the Empress. And the Ace of Wands. You're doing it. I feel like you really are moving in that direction of releasing something here. And I feel like you are feeling pretty good about yourself. You do have that motivation. That's the thing. You have a lot of drive. You're doing this with a lot of passion this time around. And you're doing it from a place of feeling like, you know what? I've healed. Like, I I am healed. And, and when I say healed, I mean like maybe healing this need to have other people's approval. It's like now you feel like you don't need to have other people's approval. You are your own empress or or emperor, it doesn't matter. You are standing strong within your own self knowing that you can conclude this, release this from your from your existence, from your life at the moment. From your experience. It doesn't have to be something that you are completely um you know, getting rid, rid of out of your entire life, but just not in the same way that it's been in your life. All right, you are, there is definitely a strong sense of being able to conclude this. So let's see what is, what is coming up. So I really feel like that drive is helping you. And for a lot of you, it could be that there is um, something else here. As I said, I, there might be something else that is also giving you that motivation. So let's clarify the four of swords. All right, we have the ace of swords. So there's a lot of clarity here. There's a lot of clarity coming up. You, you might feel like you need to take a break. You might feel like you need to rest either from the connection or from this decision that you're making, um, or just from, you know, just from the world, just from the world overall in general. But I feel like you're definitely seeing yourself and seeing the situation with a lot more clarity and with a lot more, you're, you're allowing yourself to be very honest about the situation and you're actually still taking action. And that's why I don't feel like this Four of Swords was, um, was you being passive. I don't see it in that way. There's still action here with the Ace of Swords, but it's being done in a way where, you know what, you don't need to rush like crazy any any kind of a process. You can allow yourself time to also process whatever this situation is and whatever the process is. Let's see, Three of Wands. The Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles showing up again. Yeah, you know, it's it might be a little difficult. It is. It. I definitely don't think that it's something easy. And this, again, might kind of keep you from just going full out. There's a little bit of, you know, okay, well, let me wait and see now how I feel or let me wait and see now how I can manage this. When actually you have 
you have those solutions. You are capable of managing everything that needs to be managed in order for you to move forward. It's kind of like that two of wands and we have the three of wands. That plan that you've been thinking, you can put it into practice. You can actually make it tangible. Yeah, there might be certain things that you need to um, figure out or actually take some steps to do. But you are very capable of doing that. And this is going to open up a new path for you. So I do feel like the message here is, yeah, you know, you take your time, but don't overdo it. <laughs> All right, let me see the Four of Pentacles. Because like, you don't want to go back to that Two of Pentacles energy. You know, um, I feel like you're, you're being given this window of opportunity right now where you're feeling this drive, you're feeling like you're releasing, you know, like just make sure you're acting on it as well. Don't allow yourself to go back to that. Or it's like, okay, wait, should I or shouldn't I? Like, don't go back to that hesitation. You know what you need to do. So clarifying the Four of Pentacles, we have the Six of Pentacles, and we have the Three of Wands showing up again. Yeah, same message coming through here. Um, I feel like there might be a little bit of this... Um, I mean, the message here is... Because I also always or often see the last card as being the guidance as well. Um, and in this particular case, this is showing that you might be holding on a little bit too tightly to whatever it is that you're trying to release still feeling like you owe something here or that you need to give something here and that might be creating a delay okay so that's the message for you here and i mean it's okay it's not like the worst thing in the world ever at all because you are in the process of releasing um but i do feel that some kind of a hesitation can keep you back a little bit so the guidance is to just you know keep moving forward Take your time, but keep moving forward. Don't go back to that two of pentacles of not knowing what to do and, you know, just thinking about other people's reactions and other people's conflicts and all of that kind of a thing. All right, Gemini. So if this resonated, let's get your final oracle message. All right, and we have the new moon in Cancer. You and your loved ones are safe. Someone else got this, another sign, and I can't remember which one, but yeah, you are safe in the decision that you are making. You will be safe, your loved ones will be safe, everybody else who might not agree with you, they'll be okay too, everybody's gonna be fine, <laughs> basically, okay? You are safe to move ahead in the direction that you are feeling called to. So. That was it, Gemini. Thank you so much for watching and much love.